today we need to get into why Jungkook's health is believed to be declining and what that is about. We also need to get into Jungkook believed to be in danger over not eating and what that is about. And then we need to get into people saying a CEO lied. So you don't think this is Dave Desai hater or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your own balloon, it's Hayspling Mug Merch, and let's go. We need to talk about the CEO allegedly lying about the health of the label or hype. And this is a rumor that people are spreading, which I have some opinions on. And I think it's quite strange what is being said right now. But before we break down everything going on, I do have to give some backstory and context as to why people do the things they do. Every single person, company, or whatever, is typically looking out for themselves. This is quite normal, and for a business, it's the same way. If the business is struggling to stay alive, you can't really blame them for letting their employees go, as this is how they'll stay alive, and maybe one day even offer the job back. However, if they don't do that, then they will not be a one day. However, that's a more extreme situation that could happen and is happening a lot more lately. The situation with Hive is an incredible need to constantly grow. They have thousands of employees and millions and millions of customers. If Hive didn't try their best to stay afloat, BTS would have to look for a new label and let's be real, a lot of the music we know and love was created and produced by that label that everyone seems to hate. So if there's no label, you'll be getting very different sounding music from another label. Why do I say all this? Because Hive or Bang PD formerly had talked about having zero interest in creating a fully English album, and the reason being was because he wanted the music or Hive to remain K-pop. However, funny enough, there was another interview where Hive talked about how K-pop was either stagnant or dying. This caused a huge uproar online as most people were upset, and then some took it as Bang PD was insulting BTS's impact. However, I think this is very weird to assume because Bang PD would never insult any of his artists or the people he is very close with and works with. He's literally friends with members like they go to each other's places and eat dinner together. What likely Bang PD was talking about is probably the numbers. Not only the numbers, but K-pop did have a moment in the US. It was on the rise and I felt like I heard it more on the radio and there were more and more people talking about it. But once BTS started to do some of those English songs and then the members went solo, unsurprisingly we didn't hear about it as much. What ended up happening was Jungkook went solo and created English songs that happened to drum up more attention to people like Jungkook or Koreans, however it of course didn't draw that much attention to K-pop, just Jungkook's English pop songs. It was believed that Scooter Braun, who helped with the production of Jungkook's solo album, had celebrated and talked about Hive's success and the success of Jungkook's album, and then wrote a caption about how proud he is of his team underneath a screenshot of Billboard's new article talking about Hive's stock increasing. Many fans took this to say that the stock actually didn't increase, in fact claiming that the stock decreased, showing that there is a report saying Hive America has lost $30 million now. These things on social media often look real, and sometimes they are, but I cannot confirm or deny how real this chart is, because I don't no. This could have been from a couple of years ago or whatever, and then the reason I say this is because within this same argument and thread about how Hive is actually lost money after being in the US, they use an argument to say that Hype stock has decreased in the last six months compared to when Jungkook's English album didn't come out. So basically implying that the stock has dropped since Jungkook released English music or since Hype has created more English music with other artists in the label. And that's not how you look at stocks or even how you look at growth. You look at company growth yearly or even quarterly. No one looks at growth from six months, such a random metric to success. And if you look yearly, you very quickly see that Hive stock is up. The company is healthy and good and overall up. Stocks and these things go up and down dramatically all the time, but what you do is compare the growth from this year to the last year and see if there is growth, and there is. Overall, Hive making English music was probably a decision they had to make given Bang PD likely saw the numbers and was scared of K-pop remaining stagnant. There's also another report that shows Hype is not in the K-pop business solely. They are now trying to overtake the Latin market, which is huge. But all this is to say that they don't want Hype in the US market. Fortunately for most serious investors, they're not going by what people say online about the company, but they're going to go by their own research to decide whether or not they want to invest or not. So hopefully none of this 
literal misinformation will be used to decide whether or not to invest. So please do your own research if you're looking to invest. Don't just take the word of a person on X. And also don't solely make your choice based on a silly guy wearing a blue shirt and a brown background talking to you on YouTube. What people should be spending more time on is focusing on their favorite idol and supporting them. People let silly things like language, culture, even political views get in the way of choosing whether they support someone's music or not. Because I just don't think those things matter. However, I will say we do need to promote a more healthy way of living, which is why there definitely is a lot of concern over Jungkook's health and why people think his health specifically is declining. Recently, Jungkook was in New York to perform Good Morning America, and I'll explain why this news matters now. He performed and there ended up being a bit of a rain shower that occurred. Not a huge deal normally, except the show is usually outdoors, and ultimately if it got too bad, the show would have to cancel so as to not endanger or get any of the fans in the audience sick. Jungkook ended up needing to leave early, but not only that, apparently also got a bit sick. He said his voice was a bit scratchy and that it was not COVID, but it had still worsened since before. And this is definitely a concern. This is not a concern in general. However, for pop stars, it is most definitely is. Pop stars go days without eating while training hard, all of which a lot of performers like people on Broadway and those sorts of things do go through the same rigorous training, but they are eating well and sleeping well, all of which pop stars do not get the luxury of doing. Pop stars are expected to sing and perform to the same level of Broadway singers and sometimes more, but expected to be super skinny. I think of it as the same as expecting an NBA player to be an NBA player and always win, but having the body of a pop star. They would probably constantly faint mid-game. People have been very concerned over this as they feel like Jungkook isn't eating lately. And they have reasons to believe as people think that Jungkook is way too skinny now. Jungkook has hinted towards this previously with a live stream where he showed that he was on a sort of IV diet. I don't know how that works and don't care to explain it because I don't think anyone should be on it. Jungkook shows his arms with a band-aid and the point of this was for him to drop some weight before the album was released. And my opinion here is that the clip should maybe be taken down by the staff instead of being kept up and shown to more people because it's not exactly the best thing to have Jungkook set an example of going on extreme diets. However, I will say losing weight and that sort of thing in Korea is simply not seen as a big deal or even a bad influence because the people over there have a fear of getting too big and there's a stigma over there where weight means lazy and thin means hardworking and successful. But I will say no one needs to be thin to be famous. There's many famous people like Adele or Rebel Wilson who were able to make it to stardom by being bigger. They did end up losing the weight, but they didn't drop the weight to the point where they were skinny as Victoria's Secret models. They're still considered bigger for a pop star, and that is a healthy weight for them. That's why they lost the weight because they opted for a more healthy lifestyle, and weight loss was a side effect of that. Lose weight only because you want to be healthy, and if you're healthy being bigger, then be bigger. But I will say this, it does raise this question of do you think Jungkook would be as successful and where he is today if he was a bit bigger? He for sure would probably not be the face of Calvin Klein, or would at least need to shed the weight beforehand. The method of him wearing a lower weight is definitely not healthy, and funny enough, we're coming a full circle back to the world where thinner is considered better and people are trying now to get at an unhealthy weight level. And it's for many reasons. Cameras will usually add pounds on you, so you need to be thinner to look normal. You also need to be thinner as it catches people's eyes when they see a super snatched waist. People will stop and look. If you want to have a very sharp jawline and don't want to use filler or any of that sort of cosmetic work, you'd have to lose weight. However, I would almost prefer they keep a normal healthy weight and just get filler, but they'll get made fun of for that. I am of course concerned just like many others are, however, please don't worry too much. He does have a doctor and people looking out for him. It's also another reason that I want to add why you should not mimic the weight loss stuff he is doing if you cannot afford a doctor to be monitoring you 24 seven. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you, bye.